leadership is fundamental in catalyzing change, in building trust, stimulating genuine social solidarity, rejuvenating a sense of legitimacy and credibility of the state in the eyes of the citizens. The NDP proposes that active citizenry requires inspirational leadership at all levels and all sectors of society. It then articulates the following key attributes of leadership. Leaders must be able to lead by example and follow the rules that apply to everyone. Leaders must demonstrate honesty, integrity, and trustworthiness. Leaders must agitate for transformation. Leaders must be innovative and be able to drive an essential and not necessarily popular agenda via communication and keeping people interested, keeping people informed. Leaders must be able to listen and be able to create conditions that allow everyone to communicate in an open dialogue. Leaders must foster meaningful inclusion, empower the powerless, build bridges with all sectors of society, and place people at the center of development. Our country, our continent, our global community at lunch is facing complex and new challenges that require new solutions. When addressing student doctors in 1960, Chair Kwavara said, and I quote, we must begin to erase our old concepts and come ever closer to the people and with an ever more critical spirit as we do so. Not in the way we got closer before because all of you will say, no, I'm a friend of the people. I enjoy talking with workers, the peasants on Sundays. I go to such and such a place to see such and such a thing. Everybody has done that. But that is practicing charity. And what we have to practice today is solidarity. It is the solidarity between leaders in business, labor and government that will be able to rescue our country from the economic stagnation. It is a solidarity among different countries that will improve the social economic progress in our planet. It is a solidarity between world councillors and families that will bring peace and understanding in our communities. It is solidarity between politicians and civil society that will bring genuine social dialogue. It is solidarity between workers and employers that will bring calm in the workplace. It is solidarity between university management, staff, and students that will bring stability in our higher education institutions. And above all, it is solidarity between each one of us that will move South Africa forward. Heritage and citizenry are very fundamental in our society as a spouse in our constitution and the NDP. As a blueprint that seeks to guide our actions as a country on our journey to 2030, the NDP urges all of us to expose learners to history, heritage, and culture, which are very important for understanding the past, analyzing the present, and planning for the future. They foster social understanding and cohesion, which is important for social and economic stability and growth. The arts inspire creativity and innovation and also build social cohesion. A holistic education widens career path choices and develops audiences and consumers in different sectors of the economy. 